Hi everyone. We have a very simple exponential challenge before us today. The question reads: two to the power of x minus one plus two to the power of x plus one equal to one thousand two hundred eighty. What there will be the possible value of x? So if you're new here, this is online math TV where we learn mathematics all the time. So without much waste of time, let's go straight to today's challenge. So we pull down our solution. Okay. So the question we can put down, which is 2 to the power of x minus 1 plus 2 to the power of x plus 1 equal to 1, 2, 8, 0. The number one thing we do here is just to rewrite the exponents here and this exponent. So rewriting the two exponents, what would this give us? According to the law of indices, we can write this as 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of minus 1. Okay, plus, then we can equally rewrite this to give us here 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1. Everything equal to 1, 2, 8, 0. Now, if you look at this, we can remove this minus sign here. Okay, so we can write this as our 2 to the power of x all over 2 to the power of 1. Okay, the plus uh, 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1. Of course, 2 to the power of 1 will still give us 2, but let's still keep this. So we have this equal to 1280. All right, now if you look at this left hand side of the expression, you discover here we're having 2 to the power of x, and here we are having 2 to the power of x. So we can factor out 2 to the power of x from this. So if we do that, we're going to have here 2 to the power of x bracket. If we use 2 to the power of x to divide everything here, then we are left with what? 1 all over 2 to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 2. There plus, if we use 2 to the power of x to divide 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1, we are left with 2 to the power of 1, which is exactly 2. Close bracket. This is equal to 1, 2, 8, 0. Okay. Now we cannot add the terms inside this bracket here now. So if we simplify this, this will give us 2 to the power of x bracket. The LCM is 2. Okay. So yeah, 2 here give us 1. 1 times 1 will give us 1 plus. Here we have invisible 1. So 1 into 2 will give us 2. The 2 times 2 will give us 4. Okay, this is a simple arithmetic, by the way. Okay, so from here, this will now give us 2 to the power of x, bracket up in 5, all over 2, equal to 1, 2, 8, 0. Easy. So we're looking for x, and so we have to eliminate 5 all over 2. So we divide through by 5 all over 2. We equally do this to this same side we do the same to this side okay because whatever we do to the left hand side we must do to the right hand side according to the law of equation or equality okay so with this this we go with this so we are now left with your 2 to the power of x on the left hand side of our equation equal to our uh, 5 sorry 12 8 0 now if we flip this in other words, if we carry out the arithmetic here to eliminate this division sign, we're going to come up with our, okay, let's just go gradually. So 5 all over 2, right? So this will now give us 2 to the power of x is equal to 1, 2, 8, 0 times 2 all over 5. All right. So we cannot divide it. This is all of our ones. So we cannot um, simplify down. So if we simplify, 5 here will give us 1. And 5 here will give us 2, 5, 6, right? So we have 2, 5, 6. Okay, times 2. So we now have here 2 to the power of x is equal to 2, 5, 6 times 2. That will give us 5, 12, right? Good. So, so yeah, we're going to have this to be 512. Now, if you check carefully, 512 can be expressed in base 2. Because here we are having the base number yet to be 2. So, we can express 512 in base 2. 
And so this will give us 2 to the power of x is x, please, is equal to 2 to the power of 9. So if we raise 2 to the power of 9, that will give us 512. Now the basis are the same. And so we can equate the exponent. So 2 goes with 2 here. So we're now left with x is equal to 9. Okay. So our x here is equal to 9. Now we can run a check on our equation, which is the original equation to check if we put in 9 here, put in 9 here to satisfy this expression. So let's check. All right. Check. All right, so we have here 2, we have 2 to the power of 9 minus 1 plus 2 to the power of x, sorry, 9 rather, 9 plus 1. Everything equal to 1, 2, 8, 0. So if we carry out this subtraction here, this will give us 2 to the power of 8 plus, and here we have 2 to the power of um, 10. Everything equals to one, two, eight, zero. Okay, so from here now we ask ourselves what is two to the power of eight and what is two to the power of ten? Easy. We know two to the power of eight will give us two five six. Then um two to the power of ten will give us um one zero okay one zero two four. Everything equal to one two eight zero. So if we add up the left hand side of our expression here, we're going to have one two eight zero, which is equal to one two eight zero. Okay, so this shows that the root which we solve for our x equal to nine satisfy the original equation, which is x. Okay, so this is all I have for you for today. Okay, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Online Mass TV. In case you're new to this channel, this is a channel where we roll out mathematical challenges all the time. Tomorrow, I have a very nice proof to give to you. Okay, so subscribe if you're new here. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified by the YouTube algorithm whenever we release or drop an amazing video like the one you just watched now. Remember, Jake loves you, and everyone at Online Mass TV loves you. Because you are the reason for the existence of this channel. Without you, Online Mass TV will be no more. So thanks for being there. Again, we love you. Bye for now.